Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm going to show you my third year project, the final project. It's an iPhone application, a scientific calculator. So as you can see, just like a typical calculator, calculator supports few functions, logs, costs, basic operations like multiplication, addition, division, and uh, brackets. So let's say let's write 2 plus 3, multiply 5, should be 17. It is. Uh, here's a function as well, answer, which gives us the answer of the previous uh, operation. So it's 17 plus 9 gives us 26. Uh, we can try log, log 1, let's say 0, or a square root of... Uh, 16 minus let's say 12 here we go it's 2 it supports constants as well like kind of like a pi uh, and e so you can do like that e to the power of pi 23 okay uh, cos pi over 4 gives us 0 0.7, that should be C, and uh, support as well, delete. It's a basic calculator. The second part of the project was a 3-dimensional function visualizer. So basically, it's like a interface that really poor. It's a but uh, we have four options we can change. Uh, three axis, grid, and uh, I will demonstrate it maybe on the function like zero, which is simple surface. Here you go. We can rotate it, change it. We can change the grid of it. We can give it 10, which gives us less, like, you know, detailed picture. Or we can extend it uh, to 60, but 30 looks in most cases. Good. We can go, for example, for the function x to the power of 2. Okay, here you go. We can remove y axis because if you don't want, if you don't want to say it in uh, three dimensions, we'll get the just basic like a line. Okay, it supports three dimension functions, so we can say, for example, there's a simple function cos x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 which gives us something like that but uh, we can change the z-axis as well to fit it better mm, there you go we can change it for example from pi over 4 to pi over 4 oh, what did you do? Uh, here's a mistake, pi over 4, here you go, let's say pi over 2, here you go, oh, I see, something like that, we can even extend it further, just from pi, minus pi, here you go, something like that, let's say 3 here, make, make it smaller, we can play with grids as well, we can put 10 it gives us poor picture or we can just hmm, let's go 50 here we go fine picture we can demonstrate different function uh, let's say hmm, cross absolute value x plus absolute value y multiplied by absolute value x plus absolute value y okay this function looks sort of like that we can't see the full picture so probably we have to extend the z, z axis here we go, looks sort of like that. And, uh, you can rotate it. The same play with greed. 
make it finer like that. Hmm. So basically that's it, the all functions. Done, okay, thank you.